you so so much for tuning in today's video are these super duper cute Dollar Tree farmhouse kitchen scales I love them I think they're so cute and if you try and buy them in stores a lot of them are super duper pricey so I decided to create them using Dollar Tree materials and I can't wait to show you how I made the scale face and I really hope that you enjoy this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel once you hit that subscribe button we instantly become best friends did we just become best friends yep and please hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video let's go ahead and get started I'm going to start by making the base to the mini one and for this I'm using one of the little Dollar Tree wall plaques. You can use whatever you want that's square but for this one I have to remove the heart which is pretty easy. You just have to twist it off and remove the dowel. I used my side cutters to remove the dowel and then I sanded it using a Dollar Tree sanding sponge. I don't really mind this since this is actually going to be facing the back so if it does look a little funky that's okay. So on top of this, I'm actually going to use a Dollar Tree oil burner, and this is the short one, and I'm going to attach this using my E6000. I'll leave the link below to the E6000 and the key. I'm going to add a generous amount to the bottom, and instead of placing it in the middle or forward, I'm going to actually push it back so that when you look at it from the side, you have enough space to add your little DIY scale face. Now you can leave it as is and just use the top to put whatever it is you're weighing, but I decided to add a Dollar Tree trinket tray to make it look even more authentic. So I added my E6000 to the top and made sure that it was nice and centered. And as you can see, these are two different textures. So I'm going to go ahead and prime the bottom with just cheap acrylic 50 cent white paint. And the reason I'm doing this is because if you don't prime something that is unfinished, like that little wood plaque or faux wood plaque, you won't be able to spray paint it. The spray paint either gets absorbed completely or slides right off. And I probably should have done this before gluing, but this kind of came to mind later on. And you'll see, I won't paint the back so you guys can see exactly what happened when you don't prime this. As soon as my primed bottom is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and spray paint this using Rust-Oleum's Gloss White. I don't typically add the spray paint to the cost because I use the spray paint over and over again. This is exactly the same spray paint can that I used for my enamel tub video and I still have tons left over. But if you are averaging this to the cost this is only three dollars and 47 cents so here i'm going to show you what happens when you don't prime the bottom piece and it is not fun so no matter how much i spray paint it just kind of slides off once the spray paint was completely dry i decided to give it some black details like i did my enamel tub so i'm going to use the same jet black acrylic paint but this time i'm going to be using a foam brush or a sponge brush whatever you want to call this and this made my life so much easier it made this go by so much quicker and i was able to add details without worrying if they were going to look crooked or not i just pressed them into the edges and as you can see here even though it's fast forwarded I am not struggling as much as with the tubs. I pressed in my brush to the bottom corners just to give it a little bit more detail and make this all look scuffed up. Then I pushed my brush into random little spots to give it a scuffed look. And you don't have to do this. You can paint this one solid color if you want. You can distress it. You can do whatever you want. But I really loved the enamel look. I let this dry really well. And to make my scale face, I used these clocks from Dollar Tree. You can find them in the kids' school section. And they come in a pack of four. To make these look more like a scale face, I'm going to go ahead and remove the shorthand just by cutting it down a little bit. And then... I'm gonna take a jar lid, you can use a candle lid. This jar is from Dollar Tree. You can also just cut out cardboard just to give it a little bit of shape. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this down to the size of my lid. So I'm gonna outline it, cut it out, and from there we're gonna add some details. With a thin Sharpie, I decided to place some sort of logo because most scales have logos or writing and I wrote Money Co. And then on the side, I'm going to do the half weight. So 1.5, 2.5, 3.5. I figured the more details I added to it, the more it would look like a scale instead of a clock. 
So I don't know, let me know in the comments if you think it looks more like a scale now. I personally think it looks a little nicer with all of these little details, but it's up to you. You can leave it just as a clock face or you can even go to somewhere like Family Dollar and buy a mini clock and use that. It is up to you. When I was done adding my details, I took my little jar lid and added some hot glue and pressed my clock face in but like I said you don't have to do this part you can leave it as is or just use some cardboard and then I did e6000 on the bottom and very top and made sure that it was nice and straight make sure that that 12 is centered I kept moving mys around and then once I was done bam I had an adorable little scale and now we're gonna work on our large one I'm gonna use this planter from Dollar Tree I love the shape of it and to create that little top piece what I'm gonna use is this dollhouse table from Dollar Tree. Now if you don't have the dollhouse table, you can also use other things. You can use some mini dowels. You can skip this step altogether or you can even use Jenga pieces. Jenga pieces might actually look a little better. It's all what you have on hand. So even though I know that these little wood tables will hold spray paint, I'm still going to prime it so that it can all look like one texture. Priming it is just going to give it a nice little layer and you're not going to waste as much spray paint because wood tends to soak up spray paint most of the time. So I'm going to go ahead and prime it, let it dry, and then I'm going to spray paint everything. Spray painted both pieces detached using Rust-Oleum's oil rubbed bronze I love this paint color and the reason I did this detached is so I can get right into the tops of those little wood pieces without having paint drip in the end it was really cold out so the paint did end up dripping top piece I ended up using a three and a half by five picture frame from Dollar Tree and I removed all of the details on the back and once I did that, I spray painted. Now, I ended up using a few spray paints. I thought some were going to be shinier than others. I'm not a fan of Krylon, but it's the last one I attempted, and this is as shiny as it got. You can also use one of those aluminum bowls from Dollar Tree. That would probably work really well. So now I'm going to attach everything, and of course, I'm going to use my E6000. I'm going to add some to each of the legs of my little wood table and that's what's going to hold my picture frame so I'm going to make sure that it's really really centered and then I'm going to add a generous amount of E6000 to the top of my table. When I added my frame to the top I made sure that it was perfectly centered now you can push it back or push it forward it's up to you and how you want this to look you can also like I said use a bowl and you can use the same clock face that I was using for the mini one it would fit perfectly if you paint all of that green and purple but I actually ended up taking a picture of a scale at my vet's office so I printed it out and I grabbed a wood piece from Walmart. This is 97 cents. You can also just use cardboard or a small plate. It's up to you. Now I'm just going to trace out the circle and cut everything out. Obviously, this is from my vet's office, but if you're not going to your vet anytime soon, you can always go to the grocery store and take a picture of their scale. You can screenshot any scale that is for sale and has a front-facing picture. I kind of like that there's shadows in this because it makes everything look realistic. I added some Dollar Tree Mod Podge to my wood piece and I made sure that it was really generous, but not too generous to the point where everything was going to start to wrinkle. Once I had a nice even layer, I went ahead and grabbed my scale face and pressed it directly onto that wood piece, making sure that I got rid of all of the air bubbles. And then I'm going to add some more Mod Podge up top. Now you can stop here, but to make this look a little bit more authentic, I went a little bit extra and you don't have to do this, but I ended up grabbing a sheet protector from Dollar Tree and placing that on top. Now you can do this before placing this onto your wood plaque or your cardboard. It probably would be a lot easier, but I decided on this later on. So I pressed that in and this actually helped get the air bubbles out as well. And then I cut around it 
making sure that there was no flyaway pieces and that it was nice and even. Now because the edges do look a little dull and scraggly, I used the same acrylic paint that I used for my mini one and I took my brush and just added some to the edges to cover the wood and to also cover a little bit of the black so that it looks like it belongs. Now I made sure to let this dry really really well because of course this is plastic so it takes a little longer and now with some hot glue I just put this right in the middle making sure that the zero is right aligned up top and once that was dry bam I had another beautiful scale. If you like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and as usual thank you so so much for watching let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite which one you'll be recreating and i'll see you on the next one